QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Customize invoice, download, and edit templates. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our test template QuickBooks file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're now going to select the lists dropdown. We want to take a look at the template lists. So the templates list. Now remember our options for kind of finding our custom invoice that we want to be having. One, we can use basically the default invoice. We can alter the invoice that we currently have. Or we can create a new invoice and change it, which we've done here if we want to make it customized. Or we can look for a pre-customized invoice, one that's been uh, designed basically by an expert here. And then see if we can just change that and tweak that towards our current business. So in the prior presentations, we've been taking a look at the customizing options for an invoice in, in here. So I'm going to double click that just to review. We have the basic settings, the additional customization, and then the layout settings from a basic invoice. Now, once you have those down, then possibly you can download an invoice that's gonna be pre-designed for a particular company, possibly not yours, right? And then you can adjust it possibly to make it uh, fit uh, in your business and therefore have a, a, you know, a professionally designed looking invoice that's different than just the standard. So let's go and take a look at that. You can go to the templates drop down or rise up, and then we're gonna go down to the download templates, download templates. We want to take a look at the, uh, we're looking at the invoices at this point in time. So here we have the invoices and the invoice templates. Now, uh, you can't really see them too, too well here, of course. You can read the descriptions for them, uh, but you basically have to hit the download button to see it in more detail. So when you download it, you can kind of look at the option. And if you don't hit OK, but just close it out, then you can kind of pull these up and view some of them. So let's just take a look at, at a few of these. Um, uh, let's take a look at the car one. I'm going to download this template. And so I'm going to open this item up. And there we have it. So here's going to be our general information. Here's going to basically be the layout then uh, we have on the right hand side. It opens up basically the settings that we've been taking a look at. And then if you want to download this or put this on your on your list of templates, you can say OK down here. If you just want to basically take a look at it, see the preview here and or see the preview here and then close it back out and see what else we got. We can then close this back out and then you can keep searching these out that then shouldn't be putting it on your templates form. If it does pull over on the templates form, then you can delete it so you don't have all these templates in place. So then you, you could scroll down here, green square. Uh, email maroon. Let's take a look at that one. I'm just going to say let's download that one. Check it out. I'm going to go ahead and open it. So we'll open that one up. So there we have it. So you notice they got they got a nice little kind of beveling or rounding of the of the corners here. So it's a little little bit different. Uh, look and feel still fairly basic, but they got the nice color theme that's uh, that's uh, unique. I don't believe it's one of the standard. Uh, themes and they got this nice kind of beveled look in terms of the format instead of the squares so i'm going to close that back out and so you can say all right maybe maybe look at the maroon rounded so this is the rounded one again just take a look at that one so we got the similar basic layout with a maroon color now on the on that it looks pretty good and then here's a, like a more detailed one where they clearly put some more basically like a watermark colors on it so if you have if you can find one like this or you can basically take the idea of this and basically put in some lighter coloring on it that uh, you can shade you could shade this information in and that can definitely make your invoices you know look a lot different this is a lot different layout than people who use quickbooks are used to seeing they stacked them up differently here they got the layout that looks a whole lot different so that could, you know, make make your invoices basically stand out. So I'm going to close that one out. And then we had the, the yellow one down here. There's a, a yellow look. Again, the color scheming is a lot different than the standard invoicing. So if one of these color schemes kind of work for you, then you could uh, match the color scheme and or, you know, apply it, you know, see if you can, you can, you uh, do a similar kind of formatting so here we got a different layout once again with with the items the data filling items up top and so that looks yeah it looks pretty pretty nice and different there so there's going to be some of our items let's pick that let's pick this one because this one's going to be looking quite a bit different let's go ahead and download that one i'm going to say save i'm going to open it and then i'll save it so we'll open it here 
and then I'm just going to say OK. And when it, if I say OK, it should pull it over. So this is going to be now the email orange target remit. So email orange target remit. Let's go back to the templates then. I'm going to go back to the templates and then and so here it is. So now I can open this up so we can edit it. Now we can take a look at our editing skills and make some kind of adjustments that we might want to make with it. So if I go into this item then, we still have the basic basic layout here. And so remember the options. Here's going to be kind of the basic layouts that you can add what you want. And then we have the additional customization which will give you uh, some more options in terms of the columns that will appear. And then you've got the layout designer which is going to give you the more flexibility to really move some of those items around which they let which they have done here so you can then adjust that if you want to kind of see if you can change things like the color or some of the items that you that have been added above and beyond the basic settings so then here of course you can you can choose the like things like the company name and and what whatnot you can add it or or remove it so that's going to be uh, up top so notice this this little color in here kind of covers up uh, the the comp some of the text up top so if you have uh, so you can take a look at some of those items and, and you can remove them if you need to maybe you don't want that icon maybe you just want the orange and maybe you want to remove uh, this icon but the company address phone number uh, the fax and so on and so forth notice that there's no color scheme that's basically made here because they didn't make it with a color scheme they made it basically it looks like with the with the layout designer so they have the default in terms of the color scheming if i go to the additional uh customization then we have the similar kind of layout that we can we can take a look at and notice they changed the name of the invoice to make it uh, capitalized so if you wanted to still want to change that invoice you know bill b you know i l l you could still make make changes in this format and uh, it should give you some of that customization here that you can do by, by default without having to go to the more advanced items. So you can still add these columns, the date, the invoice number, uh, the bill to, the ship to. So, so maybe uh, we don't want the bill to or something like that. You can remove, you could still sh should be able to remove and add these items. And the SOS, the terms are going to be here. You would think that would be somewhat standard the date, the rep number, the account number. So possibly you don't need the account number, but I'll keep that there. Ship date, FOB, and then the other field. So you still have those options. The columns up top. So if we go to the columns layout, then uh, we have the item. So the item is not there. So we're taking a look at these columns. We could say uh, that we want the item to be shown and then we could still add these items and so that still works even with the customization here so we can add an item for example the description manufacturer part number quantity the rate and then the amount and then we can add a custom field if we wanted to here the header and footer so the totals these are somewhat standardized and then if you wanted to go to the more advanced items you can go to the layout designer and you could see how they gridded this thing out, how they how they added these these items here. And you could see if you can go in and customize, you know, some of these items if you wanted to go in and then do some of these custom fields. If you wanted to move some of these around, possibly, uh, and 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 have them like if I if I say I, I kind of like these on the side over here. Maybe you want to move these back, basically to where they were before, and and adjust adjust like this item. Like I want these like lined up here maybe. And then I don't have enough room. But you can put them on top of each other like this way. Right. And then you could, you know, you can adjust that. And then you can line these, you, can, you know, you can line these up using the, the tools up top. So I'm going to hold down shift. And so, so I will, so say I want to, uh, same height, width, and size on these items, and so I center them. I can move them back over. I want to line them up vertically. I wish they had a I thought they had a tool to to line them up vertically, but I'll just move that. There. There. Anyways. So you can, so then you can make these adjustments and if you wanted to remove, you know, make your own image up top. So maybe this image uh, is not, not what you want there. Then you can basically add, of course, your own image. So you can go to the, to the image item 
and maybe I just want like this image, even though it doesn't uh, doesn't quit quite fit with the uh, with the with the color scheme here, obviously. But then you can you know mess with your own image and whatnot. So those are just some ideas that you can go into, and then you can do some customization here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. I'm gonna say okay, and then so there we have our our uh, invoice. I'm gonna say okay. And then if you wanted to, to say, I'm going to say, okay, one more time. And then we're going to go to the home page. And then let's take a look at that invoice, creating an invoice. And then we're going to say drop down. And now I want that orange one. So now we've got some differences in the data input here, but not, not too many, right? Because the data input is the data input. And, but then if I go to view it and say print, and I want to go to the preview, now we've got this orange thing there. Right. And, uh, and so, so some of these items, obviously I'd have to remove so that they're not in the way of my, my image here and whatnot. So you'd want to do some more customization for it. But once you have those tools down, you can take one of these custom invoices that were, are done professionally to look, look a lot different and see if you can make them custom to your particular business.